Okay, here we are in Kwondong Park in Seascapes in, in the city of Mandra. Now, this is probably one, this park has actually been here for quite long. It's about 2006, 2007. It was one of the real first parks in, well, both in, in Perth and the Peel uh, to really take on the water sensitive urban design approach. Uh, again, another legacy of Graham Hill being intimately involved in this project, bringing people together, both the state agencies and the developers to deliver on agreed outcomes, but also bringing the landscape people, bringing the planners, also along for the ride with the engineers so everything worked and everything could be maintained uh, in a way that everyone was amenable to. Um, so this park, look, again, a long time ago this was done. Is it slightly over-designed? Maybe. They're pretty big open spaces here designed for to capture the full of the 1% AP event. Um, however, you will notice at least with the design it's simple and it's simple and it works. Uh, we have plenty of vegetation over there, both retained vegetation and some enhancement through planting, which is really taken off nicely. Again, mitigating that urban heat island effect. We've got these open space areas that, yes, they're there to catch up these major events. However, they're very, very usable. Within these amphitheater type setups, and of which this development was probably one of the first to take on the amphitheater type design, uh, you're able to, that is a cricket pitch, that is a footy field, that is a fitness area for fitness groups to train in, a picnic area. It's very functional open space. It's not a drainage basin, even though it will drain to there in a, in a big event. Uh, the other thing to, to take note of is the fact there's not a great deal of bioretention infrastructure around here taking up that public open space. The reason for that is you've got, you've got this flush curbing where again, no pipes, water comes straight off the road via one way cross fall straight onto the park. That means those frequent events, they're not being concentrated in a pipe, they're being just diffusely um, run over the turf and that's okay for water quality treatment. And I, I think that's a really important point to take away from this is you don't have to design a park or design an estate with bioretention infrastructure if it's not necessary. If it's coming straight off that road source, it's going onto turf, you're dealing with a diffuse source of nutrients and hydrocarbons. So once you concentrate it into a pipe, that's when you've got to put it into a concentrated treatment option. But here they've gone the rational way to get the best outcome, let it come off the road, let it go in onto the grass, it's dealt with, it's less of a maintenance nightmare for the local government and also it's a better result for the community with more open space that can be used. Another positive thing about this park is the fact that it doesn't take too much to maintain. Uh, you'll see that over here with the, the flood storage areas, there's not too much of a steep batter on them, which is great to be able to use as well, obviously as your cricket pitch, your footy oval, and for your exercise classes and your picnics. But also, given that there's not too much of a grade there, you can very easily run a mower up and down it. So that makes for a very easy maintenance job for the parks people. Um, you also notice as well, they've done their best to retain as much native vegetation as possible, as well as do enhancing native plantings around that. Obviously, they, they're going to use less water being native, but also they, um, they occupy the ground that bit better to stop weed infestation as much. You'll find with the bioretention areas, if you're having to put a lot of them in, those bioretention areas, they're obviously bringing everything off the road and from the catchment into those areas. That's going to bring more weeds, that's going to bring more seeds, that's going to require more maintenance. But this kind of park design, you've got water coming straight off the road onto the public open space, just onto the grass. It means for far less maintenance headaches for the local government.